Hi guys, this is John Block, and today we are following a very concerning story regarding a Pennsylvania state rep named Brian Sims, who is apparently the first openly gay representative in the state of Pennsylvania. And we see his actions at a Planned Parenthood, and they are completely devastating. What he did was he went to an elderly woman who was peacefully praying the rosary to herself and harassed her in front of that Planned Parenthood. That is absolutely disgusting that anyone would use such tactics, especially to someone who is not causing a scene. They're not wreaking havoc on, on the women that are coming in. They're simply peacefully praying the rosary in a Christ-like manner. And to see him coming up to this woman and questioning her faith and harassing her and essentially uh, assaulting her with his words, there is just something that, that cannot be said. You know, people... You know, you can't, you can't just defend this anymore. There's no defense of this despicable behavior, and this state rep is known in the past to have done this as well to uh, pro-life teens who were also praying the rosary in front of an abortion clinic. And uh, when he confronted them, they, they were willing to talk to him and willing to converse with him, but he just shut them down. He asked them a question, and then he walked away. And you see these people being shamed by this man, and you wonder, you know, what side of the argument is of love? You know, what side of the pro-life argument is about love? And when I see people like these people who are standing there very peacefully in these Planned Parenthoods, and then versus Representative Sims, you wonder, you know, we are the ones who are the civil and loving and Christ-like people who are on our side, willing to be a resource for women, be a resource for m women who have to make this horrible decision, and it is our responsibility to be a shining beacon of hope on a hill. And obviously, this representative, he is not using his power in a very effective way. He's using it to stoke fear, to stoke hate, and to shame people for simply being present in a time when women need us, especially now, to be a resource for them. So this is just disgusting. We will continue following this, but we are absolutely calling for the resignation of Representative Sims, and he is a disgrace to the state of Pennsylvania and a disgrace to uh, the representative body that he is a representative of. The people in his district are not being well served by his vile and evil way of confronting people who he simply disagrees with. He can't even have a debate. And I just wonder, how does he have debates when he's in the Pennsylvania State House of Representatives? How does he conduct himself when he is legislating from his bench on the legislature? And where exactly does his moral compass fall? Because you see him, oh, he's the first openly gay representative, and okay, good for him, but is he going to use his platform for love? It's apparently not going that way. You know, you always see these, these bumper stickers that, are, that have rainbow flags on them and they say, love not hate. But where is the love now? Where is the love when it comes to people he disagrees with? You know, someone standing outside of an abortion clinic praying a rosary for the children that were ripped apart limb from limb within the walls of that facility, those people are simply doing what they believe is right. And they're not using hatred, they're not using uh, slurs, they're not using any kind of, of hateful uh, talking or actions. And when we see Representative Sims, we need to make sure that he knows that we do not condone this kind of behavior, and we want people to have a civil discussion, and he's the first one that should sign on to that and uh, change his ways. So thank you all so much for watching this Band America special, and uh, we appreciate you. Take care. Bye-bye.